All right, friends, give it up. It's Faust with Shinobi 3. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I am uh, Faust 4712. Uh, this is Shinobi 3. And uh, I'm going to be running uh, Kunilis. It's a challenge run that I've been working on over the last year and a half and has been gaining some steam. And it's pretty much going through the entire game without throwing in a kunai. And what we're going to do is take advantage of this uh, six button code that uh, not a lot of people know about with this game. But this game was actually released uh, just a few months prior to uh, Street Fighter II Champion Edition, which is what the six button controller was usually mainly being used for. Uh, like that was like their main promo of it and the developers for Shinobi 3 decided to sneak in this little cool code and if uh, You have two controllers held in and one six button you hold mode hold on You highlight options hold mode up C on the second controller and then hit start And now our options is turned into option right at the top over here Yeah, yeah, so now we have six button mode enable and that means that a is now guard B is melee C is jump X is our ninjutsu and Y and Z are the no-no buttons. Those are the kunai throws <laughs> So uh, I know it was said that we were gonna be doing on normal, but Literally weeks before GDQ uh, The expert run of this got done and it is definitely way faster and the de facto normal But before I again, I just want to give a shout out to everyone on my back couch right here I want to give a shout out to blast the process Chubbis pancakes. I know they couldn't be here uh, The Sega crew everyone else um, if everyone on my couch wants to introduce themselves real quick before we start What's up? I'm here. I'm the any percent world record holder for this game, and uh, I'll be providing some knowledge for it I'm Kyrie for the win. I also run the Kunai list run. Sonic Man 2005. <laughs> Just right. Sonic Man. All right. <laughs> so the timer begins as soon as I hit uh, game start, and I'll count it down. So um, three, two, one, go. That's right. All right, so the first stage, we have a lot of platforming. We're just going to be uh, using your sword. Obviously, you don't want to throw any kunai, just kind of maneuvering around these enemies. As fast makes it look very, very easy. Yeah. Um, anytime he's running, he's pressing right twice. Any direction twice is going to uh, make Joe run, Joe Musashi, the protagonist of this game. Yeah. But uh, Here we've got our first little trick here. We've got that bomb on this place, so... Oh, yeah, he's got no clip enabled. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. just run right through those enemies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we found that uh, every single time there's a timer on the stage and it's just counting down, kind of just gets rid of Joe's hitbox as far as, like, hitting enemies goes, but projectiles still can affect him, so we kind of got to get rid of some of the enemies there before we get in. Uh-oh. All oh, right, there we go. Yep. So he's right there at that pointed rock where his knee is. That's exactly where you can stand and you won't get hit by the boss. Excellent. All right, so the second stage. A lot more platforming. I think it's a little more exciting. Tracks a little more upbeat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, a lot of this run, he's going to be trying to keep uh, his power up. It does three times the damage as a normal hit. Uh, as long as he takes collision, it won't remove it. But if he does take actual damage, it will remove the power up. Mm -hmm. And as you see, he's going through the dive kicks and the slashes, like, yeah. time and precise. Mm -hmm. I also want to explain the uh, the wall kicks that's introduced here. Uh, another interesting thing that was found by the Ripper, um, the Ripper 999. Uh, so if you do a melee slash on a wall kick, you'll just go vertically up. You don't have to go left and right, like uh, a la Super Mario 64. Like, you don't have to go, like, left, right, left, right. You can just stay on the same side. So this is the boss. All you have to do is just uh, four jump slashes, and uh, that's going to be it. Yep. All you gotta do, you don't really need your power up as fast as like, nah, I don't need that. Who needs that? Yeah, this boss is pretty free. Yeah. That's it. All right, so here comes uh, one of our first auto scrollers. So if you got any times for donations, now would be the time. Oh, hold on, show off that sweet dive kick on the horse. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Dive kick. <laughs> you can just dive kick with the horse. Yeah. Yeah. The horse right. looks so intense. I mean, He's like, the horse, <laughs> yeah, the horse like a ninja. Dive kick. Anyways, go for it. Sure thing. We have $15 from Magic Freak 500. Wanted to donate during my man Faust's run. Good luck, man. Let this go to his choice. Ooh, thank you, Magic. Thank you. Yeah, Magic. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that pizza you promised after. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, so as you can see in the background, you have the kites. That's where the enemies come out. Uh, they are on a fixed timer when they come out from the background to the foreground. So what's fast is doing is just staying ahead of the game and just slashing his sword, just making sure to take him out. Uh, that exclamation point signs that there is an obstacle he's got to jump over. And then uh, if you align yourself with the music, you can just jump uh, in line with this one up that's going to come up. Hopefully he gets it. And he gets it just fine. Yeah, All right. Look at that. Right on. Yeah, a lot of this uh, game does have some amazing backgrounds. If, if you're watching, I definitely recommend just appreciating it. Oh yeah, parallax scrolling, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's pretty yeah. cool. A lot, of, a lot of gameplay involved though, too, in the background. All right, so Bacon found this. Uh, what happens is, as soon as this guy comes out and disappears, we jump up and as soon as the horse is on the descent, we do a suicide attack and you see his knee that's like, throttle. <laughs> Man, that's great. Now we got the army base where you got the army man with the guns and the boomerangs. It's like, oh, he's here. Like, let's oh, yeah. get him. <laughs> These guys are pretty, like, kind of one-dimensional. They go one way. Uh, if you do attack, they will react and they'll shoot you. But, nah, you just run past them, jump over. And I hit that safety pow just because I already had my pow, but sometimes the pattern at the end before that little mini boss, I might get hit. I've just kind of incorporated into my uh, movements right now, so. Right, and what I don't understand about the soldiers, even though they crawl into shoots, you know, we should Oh yeah, crawl to your like, death. Why, why like, would you crawl, crawl towards, towards like, the come here. Like, just get slashed. <laughs> that just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> crawl mean, to your death. Really does. Like, I mean, we're crawling, we're gonna get you up. Uh, well, I mean, and look at this sword, it's like slashing through everything. Everything. Shout out to this alarm, though. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got the major CPUs, where who knows, got the infinite amount of terabytes, RAM, I mean, <laughs> just everything. Memory, it's like you're going up the neck to the mother brain. Oh. All right, so, uh, yeah, it's still an auto-scroller. We've just been kind of goofing, so if you do have any more donations, just read them off. If not, we'll continue goofing. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, $5 from Cool Hand Mike. Nice. Nice. Thanks much. Awesome to see Shinobi 3 Kanilis come this far. Come join the Discord. We're all friendly and love Shinobi. Great event since almost everyone has been touched by cancer in some form. For a great cause, hope to see more. Heck yeah. Cool yeah bro. Thank you, Cool Hand Mike. That's actually uh, the Ripper. That's his new name. Oh, that really? Yeah. Earlier. Oh, okay. I didn't know what I was saying. <laughs> cool Hand Mike. Yep. <laughs> I love it because it references Cool Hand Luke. I love that movie. <laughs> I'll have to check it out. A little bit more going on here, a little more elevator. What's interesting, so the elevator can pass through the floors, but if you stay there, you're gonna get smushed. Yeah. So you gotta move out of the way. All right, here comes the booster jump. Shout out to Booster Shane right behind me. Hey! Yay! Nailed it. <laughs> I saw Booster doing that uh, at uh, SGDQ, and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna do that. And so from then on, I kept calling it the booster jump. <laughs> Coins. So we're gonna wait for the Elevator to line up with the second line, and then you just do do two of those wall slashes, and then you're in. And now he's gonna do a slash and a self destruct. And if you timed it right, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We got the white, the white three. Attack. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. It's like the time of the marathon. Let's go. <laughs> All right, this is one of my favorite stages, even though it's. Relentless sometimes. And it's like the scene from the Stranger yeah. Things. You mean you got the ghouls and the brains that can fly, <laughs> and then you got the brains of the leg and the eyes just hopping, like, just weird. So we're gonna take advantage of those uh, timer glitches a lot in this level. Yeah, this, this level has become a lot easier because of those. Mm -hmm. The first one was known, the second one was kind of discovered a little later. Also, thanks to Cool Hand and Bacon. So it's gonna be right here. I'm just gonna run through them. That's it. That's yeah. all you gotta do. It's so easy. Yeah. Yeah. Even though they're popping out like like, like popcorn. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Typically they're pretty pretty painful uh, to get through, outside of doing that new trick. So. All right. So and this trick coming up was literally being talked about in the Discord on my airplane flight out here. Yeah. <laughs> so, <new tech. laughs> so this is some <laughs> extremely new tech. So enjoy. All right, so he's holding up, and the camera pans up. And as you can see, the, the, there's no ground there. It's not showing anything. But the enemies will come down, and you'll see why in a moment why he's doing this. I'm going to so just play it safe, because if they knock you down, then it doesn't work. That's right. 
and they're being real finicky and lining up a lot. Yeah, I know right, it's going to jump a low, jump a high. And... All right, that was it. All right, excellent. Oh, I did it too late. No. Okay, so basically the whole thing would have been disappeared, and then I would have been able to just go down, but oh well. And now Good. we're in the next area where the mother, like, mm. is the sewer, and she's trying to get her children to fight you know, and bring them down to her. But mm. it's like, she's always like, no, I'm going to double jump all the way through. Oh, yeah. You won't get me. The ground here is pretty trolly, you got to be honest. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, so with the six-button mode, with the mode button on the controller, uh, Faust can, just with ease, just change his ninjutsu. It's amazing. Yeah, typically you'd have to go to a pause menu to switch your abilities. So this does change menu times. All right, so, so there's the, the Mother Hydra. Heck, yeah. <laughs> And the other reason why we want to do extra is because you can actually use all the ninjutsus now. So in normal, we kind of don't use a lot of them. Now we actually have a purpose for most of them. Like that one right there. That's the boss. And that's, that's Heck fun. Yeah. All right, here comes another auto scroller, some surf ninjas. Surf ninjas. But Fox this one just came a long way. <laughs> yeah, good old surf ninjas. You guys like chives? <laughs> And a little no fast. Surf Ninjas came out in 1993, and then Shinobi came out in 1993. Ain't that a coincidence? And Surf Ninjas was also uh, produced a little bit and funded by Sega of America, so. Little Some guy at Sega played. loved Surf Ninjas. Oh yeah, they had the, the Game Gear in it, so it was yeah, yes, definitely did. product placement. Yep. Mm -hmm. But this one is a little weird because these uh, enemies' patterns are a little bit random sometimes, and there's one point where we're gonna have like one last beacon of hope when that's our last instance of getting a power up but there's still a jump we got to make where a guy can come out and drop a grenade right on our face on our peak of our height and you can't get away from it yeah. and it's just before the mini boss yeah they're they come out at a, at a different interval than right. say the, the horse backstage so you just got to be very careful there's that last beacon of hope yeah, getting hit here basically takes the bosses from uh, 11 hits to 33. So yeah. I really don't want to. So I'm going to try and keep this guy alive and see if it manipulates them a little bit. All right. Yep. Beautiful. Nice. All right. Good job. Pretty safe here. Yes. All right, so Fast has his power up. He's going to grab this last uh, life coming up here, and it's going to be the mini boss. Yep. I gotta say, the sprite work in this game is also pretty top-notch. Mm. Yeah. I still can't get the mashing down here, darn it. Oh, for the... Yeah. yeah. Do you want to just pass the controller <laughs> over, no, or what? No. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Thank see ya. You. Oh, not even 11. I'm way off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we're at the factory. The name of the track is called Shinobi Walk. Look it up on YouTube because I have it on my phone. This song is amazing. It's a great track. track, great bass line, great everything. Mm -hmm. Super funky. Just, just, just bob your head, too. Oh, yeah. that's fine. No worries. Yep, that's all right. The good, news, oh, the good news is about this stage is there is going to be a power up at the very end of it. You can definitely pick up. Ah, I don't even get that one. I get the one right before it. It's probably faster to, to get the one that you get. Yeah, for, for those that don't know, definitely. Okay, or don't. <laughs> <laughs> or just slash at me. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> First time we get to see the, the actual kunai being used in a melee instead of the sword there. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, the dagger. Yeah. Another booster strat right here. Look at that. Clean. Oh, the timer went down. We're going to have to mm. flash this guy. It's all right. Yep. Yeah, definitely. That's the good one. Yep. Stay under that box. You'll always be safe. Excellent. And this is the last uh, uh. area right here. This Excellent. guy. Coming up on this boss, we're gonna see the first time we use the lightning ninjutsu, which uh, will block a few attacks. And what's interesting enough is when you use a ninjutsu on this boss, it kind of alleviates a bit of lag, and I don't, I don't understand quite why, because it's usually the waves that Joe and the boss produces that causes the most lag on the stage. So that's why you'll see Faust occasionally just jumping. All right, there's phase two, there's phase three, and then phase four is the last phase. Just gonna wail on him. Excellent, Ooh. there we go. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. All 
All right, is that cool portrait? All right, Electric Demon. This is where things get real, real interesting. Suddenly the game's hard. Oh, yeah, it just gets really hard right here. It ramps up. Mm -hmm. So everything just, you know, obviously wants to kill you. The barrels, the enemies, and Mines. Yeah, the mines. There's even these other enemies that were introduced, the, they shoot these, like, mortars. Yeah. And here's the thing, again, like, he's doing melee only, so he has no kunai to, like, help him out. Oh, that guy did it all. again. He was doing that in practice. Usually he's supposed to chill over there, but It's a clean backup, though. Good job. Man. Thank you. He keeps overlapping with that one guy. I'm like, ah, ah go away. <laughs> that was close. A little bit of a break there. And he still has his, yeah, he still has his power up, so he doesn't have to grab the backup one. I just passed it. Ooh, Almost to the boss. All right. Yeah, it should be all right. Yeah, this area right here, especially, there's, there's a lot of those guys. Just want to be careful. Oh no! Oh, well, we're going with the backup. It's all right. It's all right. We got some backups. Thank you. Good news is, still full health. Got a ninjutsu. Things aren't so bad. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. we, we might be in danger. You got it. No. Ooh, no. Ah, it's all right. That's OK. We'll just take the death. We should not leave those put on this one so it's so cool. Yeah, again, this stage is brutal. It's not the not the most fun to run, and everything's coming at you at once. You just got to make sure to just dodge everything. He wants to get inside the enemy, so you nah, can do just like. Do it. Ah, that's fine. Yeah. No worries. We got safeties. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be another ninja two on the way, so pick that up. That's what you want. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we wanted that on the other side. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Nicely done. We're still in there, man. We got this. Yeah, that's yep. all good. All right, I'm just gonna grab this safety pow and health right over here. Heck yeah. Feeling a little better. Yeah, now I feel great. And here he's gonna cheat a little bit. There's no clip. <laughs> another another yeah, you cheater. Glitch, man. Are you showing me this Leslie, you cheater? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just do this the whole game? Yeah, right. <laughs> ah, because that timer goes out. That's why. <laughs> Infinite five uh, five second timer bomber glitch. <laughs> oh, okay. A little more solid platforming over here. Just want to make sure not to mess with any of the enemies. Or just chilling back. Of course, the ones in your way, you got to take them out. So in this stage, there's three phases. This is the third one, and then the last one is just a vertical area. He's got to traverse. Yeah, normally if you try to traverse the bottom route, there's a lot of bombs that actually end up blowing the floor up. So this actually ends up turning out to be a lot faster. So mm -hmm. we're gonna... uh, it's fine. It's, fine. it's another power up coming All right. up. Uh, Typically that's so a since I actually died there, I have to go with the last strat that I used to use. I can't do the clip because I need the lightning for the Mega Gojira. But if you want to see it, <laughs> Go look it up. It's cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice little clip. There. <laughs> Join the Shinobi Discord. We have a bunch of clips of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does a roll and then he does a ninjutsu and it clips him in the floor and then he just goes through. Similar to the the route of, of expert. Oh, 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 oh. Alice. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah, big thing here with the uh, double jumps is if he uses the melee, it will shoot a fan of kunai as well, which technically would invalidate the run. Which, by the way, if that does happen during this, I'll donate five dollars per kunai thrown. So that's about like seven dollars per, uh, <laughs> per. Or, I mean, five per seven kunai in the fans. So oh. thirty-five dollars. You're gonna make me go broke matching you. <laughs> <laughs> that's if it happens. <laughs> Maybe I should do it on purpose. Oh man, just <laughs> right at the end. <laughs> Fight the last boss with nothing but kunai. <laughs> yeah, right. Things. I don't even know those strats, yeah. man. I've been doing this for so long. Who knows them? Here's the boss. Yeah. The Mecha Godzilla. Hi, buddy. <laughs> so you want to stay on Godzilla's uh, left arm, and the reason why is the likelihood of the fire that it breathes coming out is much less. 
because when that fire comes out, you don't want to be around. Also just makes it a hassle to just stay on the arms to slash the head. It's actually what you're uh, hitting is the head. Yeah, even though his head is gone, he's still fighting. Oh, amazing. There's that boss. There, there was the brain head. again. You saw that? <laughs> All right, so I'm not going to talk for this entire uh, section. This is a pretty tense stage of a lot of uh, vertical movement. Yes, and the double jumps must be precise. Mm -hmm. He's going to do a shield right here just to make sure that he doesn't get hit. Because the thing is, the power-up that he just picked up is the only power-up in this area. And this area is about, like, two minutes of just making sure that you don't get hit, make sure that you don't fall. Because if you fall, it's death. And there's no checkpoints, so it just makes it for a great stage. Um, if there are any donations, absolutely go to town. We'll be right here chilling. Yes. Sure thing. We have ten dollars from Grimshins. What's up, Faust? <laughs> Your favorite dolphin boy wishing you good ninja ing. Doro 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 on. Shuri shuri shuri. <laughs> dance, dance. <laughs> uh, we also have five dollars from Uber Disco. I just need to show some support for my dude Faust, Cypherin, and Sonic Man. Faust told me to submit my times for Bonk's adventure and got me into actually speedrunning myself. On that note, make sure everyone checks out Great John's Bonk Adventure Run on Saturday. Much love from the EGL community. Woo, thanks, Uber. <laughs> love you, dude. Love you. Five dollars from Dagron 105. Yo. Oh. Yo. The you, man. You did it, Faust. You snuck an expert kunai list in there like a true shinobi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud to have made this category the norm. Now do the community proud, Faust. Thank you, Dagron. Wish you were here, man. Love you. Mm -hmm. True inspiration for me. What a champion. Yeah, he is. All right, so there's the, an extra life. But, uh, there's no more enemies, thankfully. All you got to do is just make sure to not die. Not die. <laughs> The thing is with the double jump, it's a little, for some, it, it's kind of hard to do, but once you, uh, kind of like most things, once you master it, it's not so bad. Here's the pebble of faith. The pebble of faith, yeah. the tiniest little pebble. Just like in Aladdin <laughs> with that tiny hand. That tiny mm -hmm. little hand, man. Tiny little hand. Jump up, there's the last rock, and here's the boss. Since it's melee, it actually, I would say it kind of makes it a little easier to do oh, the, yeah. the, the close encounters for this boss. Yeah, normally you're trying to hit dead center with a kunai, and it, it can be real trolly when he starts moving, so. Uh, that pattern is random as well. Mm -hmm. Kind of just goes over, around, and over. And sometimes it's slow, sometimes it's fast. Yep. It's everywhere. And then this is going to be the last cycle. Unfortunately, you can't do any ninjutsus on this boss because it just ends his cycles. This is one of the bosses where it forces you to go through all of them. Mm -hmm. oh, OK, you're going to be like that? Oh, no, he's all fine. All good. All right. So now is my favorite track in the entire game. Oh, the, There's the death, the death, death far. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hear it again in the next one. <laughs> this track, though, no, it makes me want a bean mug. Now he's gonna jump on the wall and climb forward, and then then you be like, oh, where he go? True shinobi. Where he go? In the, the roof there. <laughs> All the runs to the left. My man going to the right. All right, so here comes that wall jump slash. This made this room way easier with kunai list. Yeah, I heard some bad runner figured it out. <laughs> Kai, right over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Call him a song. But you got to admit, the, the jumps you saw right now is very precise and very well done. Yeah, the other thing, this, this entire stage is a complete maze, so... I'm going to run and despawn an enemy that can sometimes come out, and he would sometimes throw a shuriken at me. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm. Beautiful. Yes. Yeah, if you take any of these wrong doors, they can put you at the back, at the beginning of the stage, so... And there they go. Where'd where he go again? Where'd he go? These enemies, if you're on the ground, sometimes they'll stay there, sometimes they'll jump at you, sometimes they'll just run at you. So that's what, that's what Fast was avoiding, just any type of confrontation with the enemies. Yeah. yeah, it's like the fog just takes over, and they're like, where did he go? <laughs> just casually stroll out of the, you know, the smashing pillars. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're fighting Z. People call All right, him so up. here's the quick kill. All right, as soon as he throws the hair, do a suicide, and then while that's going on, mode over to the fire dragons, and then as soon as they hit, that's it. Nice. 
solid one phase. I like that. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Oh, nice. Thank you. All right, that's a good one. And then one more. Yeah, this this is all scotch. This is a great cycle. Great cycle. Mm, yeah. Great. He's done. There yep, go. there it is. Yeah. Woo, that just saved every bit of time from dying on that real one hour, boss dude. that we never died on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we are on the last stage. Final confrontation. Immediately does that double jump, lands on those poles, keeps going. Makes it look very easy. Yeah, just running off, you know, grabbing those again. No worries, no care in the world, it's good. I mean, dodging the, the hyper beams and everything. Mm -hmm. That yeah. fog can get a little finicky sometimes. So yeah, just, but just right avoid off. it, just be safe. Yeah, jumping over is like, you're pushing for really good times, but it's not necessary, you can wait, chill. And I encourage anyone who has ever been a player of this game casually, please try and attempt Kunai List. It, opens up a whole well of excitement and challenge for this game that I think everyone should enjoy. It definitely keeps me going on it, because any percent I try to do, man, Cure, I give you the most props. Same with you, Booster. Any percent clips, I'm like, oh, oh man, that's all oh. right. So what, uh, what Fast was attempting to do was despawn some enemies, and he might actually get a, l a little bit of despawns, but uh, you want to stay in the center and just kind of avoid the little bullets that the, the turrets shoot out. Yeah, you'll see a lot of these little robots drop down on each side, but... That's okay, we, we messed up we that one time, but we'll get the rest of them. Yeah. They right, always actually, appear on a cool. few, but yeah, if you just stay directly in the center after getting rid of them, you can just get them, so... Yep. And he ended up getting the despawns, so that's good. It's less to worry about. Makes it a lot easier. Yeah. So anything on this, there's a little bit of turrets, a little bit of uh, hazards here and there. Everything does a ton of damage. You just want to avoid anything that you can. You may have been sensing a pattern. You just basically want to avoid everything. Making sure to stay on the ground because running is the fastest way to move. And it's amazing. It's amazing he's running, like, you know, in the low zero, like, above the clouds, like... Amazing. Oh, beautiful movement. Yep. Just gotta wait. Here's the last area. Last enemy. All right, now we're on to seven two. There's no enemies here. It's just strictly platforming, but yep. it's a little scary. So it's the hardest platform. Mm. I mean, it's all e electric, you know. His moves are electric. <laughs> just like the electric slide. <laughs> Definitely utilizing that the vertical slash. It's just so much faster than wall kicking, I would I I, I believe. I, honestly it just looks amazing. Mm -hmm. It does look great. It looks like it was intended. And it may have been. Yeah, it could very much could have been. Utilizing just his health to get through that very quickly. Right, so let's see what he does over here. I'm gonna wait with the elevator. I'm not gonna do it this time. Oh, you're gonna wait? All yeah, because right. I took those bombs instead. Mm. Yeah, better Because sometimes it. it can do the pow thing, but even when you don't have a pow, it can kind of double glitch you, hit you mm. instead, and it like, you lose your iframes for some reason. Makes no sense. Yeah, so we wait for the platform friend helping us out. Taking it nice and easy, because mm. we're, we're looking at like a 29er looking, yeah, 26.55. This is actually really great, even though we took that death. Definitely. All right, let's see if he does the jump slash. Oh, we will be. Heck yeah, it's 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 pretty safe for the most part. There you go. Yes, yeah, wonderful. Yeah. So he wants that extra life, excellent. And then, uh oh. Uh, nope. Oh. oh. Right. We missed the box, but at least the elevator spawns pretty much immediately. Mm -hmm. That's always just a fun thing to show off. Usually there's a ninjutsu box right there. If you wall kick at the right time, you can get it. I just need to learn it better. It's all right. It's still cool, though. You just walk off, don't die. It's like, oh, no. I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why is he doing that? Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> The 
friends here just helping you out on the platform. And you're knocking on death's door over here. I know, right? Got one bar to live. Should be all right. There's a health pickup coming up here. Right there. Excellent. So it should be all right for the rest of this. Here's the last segment of this area. And then this is where the wall jump slash really changed things because it just made this whole entire section completely easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it removes all obstacles. It's... And with this section, when I just come up the stride again, we had to keep jumping before the walls cave in on you, both sides. Mm -hmm. It's a hassle in, in just three button, but in Kunai list, this, this, is, this is easy. Makes it quite trivial. Mm -hmm. And here we've got our uh, final boss, the coolest boss fight, the Shadow Master. Yeah, yeah definitely he, the coolest boss in the game. I mean, he, he does spirit bombs, like shurikens, like does it charge at you? Yeah, he crosses yeah. his arms like he's the best. It's definitely an anime battle. He does <laughs> dive kick. Phase one done. Mm -hmm. All right, phase two. The final Super Saiyan Four. Like, I'm gonna get you. Spear bomb. <laughs> Five kick. And one more hit. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That is going to happen as soon as it fades to black. And time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 34. Yes. All right. Woo. Sub 30. Woo. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, uh, I first got this idea because Cure was tossing around the idea of Pacifist about a year and a half ago in his uh, stream, and I was just like, hey, what if you did, like, the six-button thing without throwing any kunai? And he was just like, what? <laughs> so uh, I took the time to route it out and everything, and it's come extremely far. Now we have two categories, normal and expert kunai list. Expert is pretty much the de facto run. Uh, currently the world record holder, and the biggest shout-out to... Uh, bacon omelet with a 2640 of this run. He is just the mad scientist of Shinobi 3. Anything that we theorized or wanted to do, we throw an at him and he's just tested to the fullest and it's definitely paying off for him. So shout out to you, Bacon, man. I wish you were here. Uh, I want to say thank you again to my couch. Thank you to GDQ for hosting me. I couldn't even believe this. This is, <laughs> I can't. I, I, like two years ago when I first started streaming, I was like, you know, it'd be cool to get Shinobi into GDQ and here I am doing this. So thank Woo! you. Yeah, Boss the man, yes. Shout out to uh, my mom, I love you. She's my biggest fan, my biggest supporter. And uh, I just recently got engaged to my lovely fiance, Caitlin. I love you, thank you. Woo! And that was Shinobi 3, expert kunai list. Uh, follow me on Twitch, follow Shinobi people on Twitch, and follow our Discord, and come and join us. Ask we questions, love we love them. Yep. Yes. All right, thank you guys. It was an absolutely incredible run. Give it up once again. Great work, Faust. We have a lot of love coming in for Faust. We have $5 from CMM1215. Hey, Faust, we're chilling in the audience, wishing you the best of luck your run. Also, hi, Kier. We'll run a quick Twitch ad, and we'll be right back for our Ghouls and Ghosts interview.
All right, friends, we're moving on over to our interview with DOSBox Falco and Aquas for the Ghouls and Ghosts run. Hey, guys, we are here in the midst of the Genesis block. And uh, right here with me are Aquas and DOSBox Falco, who are going to be running um, Ghouls and Ghosts very shortly for, naturally, the Genesis. So, guys, here's what I want to know. So, um, as many of our, much of our audience might know, the um, Ghouls and Ghosts series has a bunch of games in it, uh, such as Ghosts and Goblins and Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Um, and those two games have been run uh, quite a bit at the previous marathons. I think Ghosts and Goblins uh, five times for the NES, um, and Super Ghouls and Ghosts six times for the SNES. Uh, Aquas, the Ghouls and Ghosts run, is ever, we've only seen it once before. Why do you think that is exactly? Hmm. Yeah, we kind of talk about this topic every now and then about why it's kind of the odd duck in mm -hmm. the series. And, well, I mean, the port that people know it, or would know is the Genesis one. And uh, otherwise, it's just, it was just, you know, the arcade sequel to Ghost and Goblin's arcade. Um, otherwise, uh, it's really a shame that more people don't play it. It's the best game ever. Yeah. It's just <laughs> straight up. I right? absolutely agree. <laughs> so... It's and, really a shame. Yeah. yeah. And yet it's for two other, well, at least two other um, platforms as well. DOSBox Falco, yeah. I know that, uh, like, for example, the, the interesting thing to me is that, so Aquas has the first time on the leaderboards for Genesis, and you have the third time uh, for Genesis. Mm. And yet for the arcade version, it's actually flipped exactly. You yeah. have the first time, he is the third time. Um, so why do you think that is exactly? Um, I grinded arcade a lot more, a lot, a lot more. Mm -hmm. I haven't played Mega Drive that much. Uh, I started playing it again about a month ago to get ready for this, um, and my time got a lot better. But um, Aquas was playing for a lot more years. Mm -hmm. He played like for two or three years before I started in 2016, which means it's been a very long time he's been playing. I've been playing less time, and I put most of my time into arcade. Got it. And actually, so since this is going to be on the Genesis version, do you feel like he kind of has like the home court advantage? I think he does because he knows the Genesis patterns better because the patterns are a bit different. Oh, um, so it's not just like physics a little bit. It's also the patterns are different. Yeah, the hitboxes are a bit different too. Um, so yeah, things are different. I think he has uh, a better time because he's had so much more experience. Mm -hmm. He's done different weapon runs. So if he gets a bad weapon, he knows the strats. I may or may not. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Um, and also, I mean, though, there, there are, it is on two other systems that I know of besides that, specifically TurboGrafx-16 and, naturally, SMS, Sega Master System. Oh, um, well, Master System, <laughs> and, baby. And, and while you've done, uh, Aquas, you've done a TurboGrafx-16 run, I believe, mm -hmm. but you haven't done the SMS version. What are those versions like? So there's kind of like three main like versions of Ghouls and Ghosts like you want to play, because this SMS version is, is drastically different than the Super Graphics and the Arcade, and then... Um, yeah, the Mega Drive. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, yeah, SMS is crazy. Like, you have to um, upgrade your boots and armor, and upgrading your armor gives your boots more traction, and upgrading the boots lets you run faster. And you need to do that to actually make the tongue section in stage three. And if you don't know that, you're thinking, like, this game's broken. Um, so that's, that's the that's, quality SMS experience. Yeah, it's, you know, it's not far off. <laughs> I mean, it's actually a pretty good game. Yeah. Um, and that does have some runs, too. Uh, so, so, yeah, people check that out. Cool. <laughs> um, yeah, and I know that you run, Aquas, you run uh, a lot of games in the series. What is it about the series as a whole that kind of draws you to it? Yeah, it's, it's got that, uh, you know, that mix of the, the macabre, but also, like, the uh, kind of fun, cartoony, uh, like, enemy designs. Um, it doesn't take itself too seriously, and then it's just uh, the random element is a big factor. Um, the games go a long way, uh, being from the arcades, they go a long way to uh, make each run through different, and uh, different things will, hit, will happen, and you kind of got to get used to that and adjust accordingly. And uh, there's a certain attention and excitement in that, and that's why uh, I think these runs uh, really do attract a lot of people um, as far as viewing them. Gotcha. And yeah, the players as well, I think that's what keeps us playing them mm -hmm. as well. Cool. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we're going to be um, coming up on your run very shortly. Before that, I need a quick bit of support with, uh, with my man in the back here. Let me see if he's available. <clears throat> Prizes, <laughs> please. Uh, all right, all right, yeah. So, so you can help me with the goose, right? Yeah, he's, he's been stealing all my stuff. Yeah, yeah, 
here, take, 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 take this for your trouble. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Hi, hi, hi Blecky. How are you? How are you doing? Yep. Uh, it's good to be here. We got some great prizes to show uh, all of you guys this morning. Lots of lots of cool stuff to talk about for sure. But first, guys, I just want to mention we just like passed six hundred thousand dollars. It's it's like Wednesday morning. What, what's up with that? You guys are doing an amazing job at raising money for the Prevent Cancer uh, Foundation. It's so great. So. Uh, I got a bunch of prizes here that are all closing right after this upcoming Mystic Defender run. Guys, Mystic Defender is like a 10-minute run. If you want to get in for some of these prizes, you got to get in, the, in these donations right now. So let's talk about a couple of them real quick. Uh, from uh, Apogesis, we have a set of four beautiful Final Fantasy metal prints. I've actually chosen uh, just one to showcase here, but if you head over to GamesDoQuick.com and check out the tracker, you can see a picture of all four of them. Uh, I, I love this one. It's, you know, a picture of Midgar from Final Fantasy VII with the Genova meteor flying over it, all in green and black. Super cool. Love the art style. All four of them look amazing. And here's the best part. It's a four set of these beautiful metallic prints for only a $5 minimum donation. That is Crazy value right there. Get those $5 donations in, guys. Come on. Uh, now, from our good friend Auburn Moogle, we have a Final Fantasy prize pack of sorts. Let me uh, grab the components here. Uh, it comes with this absolutely adorable uh, Chocobo White Mage plushie. I, I love this thing. I wish I could take it home, but I can't. I can't win prizes. Only you guys can. Uh, but in addition to that, it also comes with a bunch of really cool Final Fantasy stickers and some Final Fantasy trading cards. Uh, yeah, Final Fantasy trading cards. I know we have a couple of people here who are really into the Final Fantasy trading card game. And bam, you could get a set of a couple of them. I have no idea if any of those are good or not, but they're there. Uh, guys, we have all kinds of amazing stuff. We have uh, some Final Fantasy posters from Meridia. Head over to the tracker to see some beautiful pictures of them. $10 minimum donation. From our friends over at Fangamer, we have a copy of Press Start to Translate. It's Final Fantasy IV, but translated through Google. Super cool. Again, uh, head over to the tracker, $10 minimum donation to see that. For $15, we have uh, some Dragon Quest posters uh, from Meridia. They are amazing. Uh, one is pure metal slimes, the other is just regular slimes with a single hidden metal slime in there. Uh, the posters look super great. You can find a picture on the tracker. And now, guys, here's something I really wanted to talk about. From our friends over at Square Enix, we actually have some signed collections, uh, signed collections of Collection of Mana and a, uh, a fun, bouncy little rabbi ball. So you get uh, a nice little uh, rabbi ball here, in either black, yellow, or pink. Uh, as well as a signed copy of Collection of Mana. And it's actually signed by the series producer of the Mana series. That's super cool. Uh, honestly, great series. You know, the first one localized as the Final Fantasy Adventure, but then Secret of Mana, Trials of Mana, two absolutely amazing games. You could have all three of them on Switch, signed by the series producer for only a $15 minimum donation. Um, guys, we have so many absolutely amazing prizes available right now. Head over to the tracker, but do so quickly, because like I said, all the unique prizes we're talking about are only available available until the end of this upcoming Mystic Defender run. So you're going to want to head over to gamesdonequick.com and check out the tracker for not only those amazing prizes, but also for the great incentives you can put your donations towards, as well as all of the amazing speedruns that we have coming up for you today in the marathon. Amazing speedruns like Mystic Defender by Zaxxon96. Let's get hype and let's get ready for that run. <laughs> 